Now you can take Chatty Cathy with you. Be a kid again. So few black arts. Just me own special breakfast. Here's some more shit that we didn't get to talk about when the news dropped. So we're going to present it like it's brand new, and then we're just going to run down the rabbit hole with this one. Here we go. Okay. Zoe, pull up, the, pull up this article. Kendrick Lamar to perform at the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show. Yes, Kendrick Lamar will perform the 2025 Apple Music Super Bowl halftime show. Rock Nation, Apple Music, and the NFL announced on Sunday. That was two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, and and, and look, listen, y'all. This story might mean something to some of y'all. But for people in Louisiana, very specifically in New Orleans, where where the Super Bowl will be, yeah, in 2025. You know, we get the Super Bowl every four every four years. Okay, like every time a president get elected, we get a Super Bowl in New Orleans. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, but we gonna get to we gonna get to those. They gotta wait 15 years to get another Super Bowl. Not us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So we like we, New Orleans we at get this point to that. Is tired of the Super Bowl. We like bitch, you here again? Yeah, yeah, we we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. But and, yeah. and I I gotta put this one right after, cause it just made me laugh. Okay. Um, uh, check just, just check. This is from XXL. Okay. Uh, Drake turns down turned down multiple opportunities to perform at the Super Bowl. It says on Tuesday, September tenth, tenth, popular podcaster Mal claimed. On the last episode of his podcast, Ray Farrell and new and new more Rory and Mel Drizzy has turned down the Super Bowl halftime show numerous times. Why? Why do we have to? Why? Mm -hmm. You know why? Because Maul, Maul, uh, formerly of the, the was he was, is he still currently on Joe Budden podcast or uh, you on, on Joe, Joe Budden podcast? Budden's podcast. The what? Yes. I think he still is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That dude's a big stupid Drake fan. Him and and DJ Academics. Okay. Yeah. Them two. I, like I ain't never seen somebody be so ride or die for Drake in my life. Okay. Yeah. Them them people is like, listen, Drake need to put them niggas on payroll if they yeah. not already. It's like, oh, I got a new car. I I, I had that car before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's why I, I went back to my Corolla after I had that. Yeah, Kendrick got offered the Super Bowl, but that's okay because Drake turned down Buku time. I don't <laughs> even want the Super Bowl. <laughs> mm -hmm. We don't need the Super Bowl. What are we going to do with yeah. the Super Bowl? Hey, hey, Drake is bigger than the Super Bowl, right? Like, is it because he said when him and that's what he said the first person shooter, huh? Yeah. He's like, he's the biggest to what? Huh? Big, big, as the, huh? <laughs> big as the Super Bowl. He was letting y'all know. He's like, listen, I'm too big for this little boy shit, okay? I'm yeah. only performing at the World Cup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know you do this shit. I'm only <clears throat> performing at Wimbledon. I'm not performing at the Super Bowl. <laughs> here's 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 some other news. They released the uh the the set list for the Super Bowl. Okay. Kendrick set list. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> so. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar set list. Not like us. They 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 not like us in reverse. They not like us remix. They not like us West Coast remix. They not like us Canadian remix. They not like us, the disco version. They yeah. might end it with a bounce version, too, since they're doing it in New Orleans. Yeah, it's in New Orleans. Like that, I, I was kind of upset that there was no bounce version. I, you Come know on. what? I'd be mad as hell if instead of doing a bounce version of They Not Like Us, they did a Zydeco version of They Not Like Us. <laughs> yeah, so, how, uh, how's he going to fit Jambalaya or Jambalaya on the bio? How's he going to fit that into it? Mm -mm. I, what I don't want to hear is Kendrick rapping over a nigga playing the washboard. Okay. <laughs> fucking Zydeco. Yeah. Can't stand that fucking shit. 
Uh, <laughs> but like no, nobody I know from New Orleans likes Zydeco. I know people from Louisiana that like it, but whenever I meet somebody from Louisiana and they say they like Zydeco, I say, "Well, I know you're not from New Orleans." <laughs> Creole <laughs> filet gumbo. Fuck you. All right. Well, now we're getting into the shit. Uh-huh. So, Nicki Minaj has something to say because, as Hannibal said, people are upset that Lil Wayne wasn't invited. Yeah, people, there are a lot, a lot of people feel a way about Lil Wayne not being able to perform at the, the 2025 Super Bowl in New Orleans. Right? Yeah. And I, I, I have so much to say on this subject. So, yeah, yeah. I'm so very let's curious. go. Okay, what, Let's yeah. talk about it. Let's, let's, let's see what Nicki Minaj, Minaj had to say. There we go. This is her tweet. It says, uh, Got everything in the world. Still spiteful and evil. Disgusting. Be happy. Abeg? What is that? I don't know. Go be fucking happy, nigga. In rap business. In women business. When you got the po- politicians and police... You got, though, plus that ugly Laffy Taffy alien, Gag City DC, hashtag DTLR, LMFAO. Wait, wait, hold wait. Got everything in the world, still spiteful and evil, disgusting, be happy, I, I beg, go yeah. be fucking happy, nigga, in rap business. In women business, you got the politicians and the police. You good though, plus that ugly Laffy Taffy alien hashtag. I like. I feel like I'm having a stroke trying to read this. Yeah, shit. me too. Me too. Let, let, we'll go to the next one. That, that we got three tweets from her. Oh shit. Yeah. Denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego, your hatred. For Birdman, Drake, and Nikki got you punishing Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne? The GOAT? Nola, what's good? Eminem stood firm having 50 Cent come out a white man. Sad shit. House nigga. Or house nigga tanks. But it's good for them. No loyalty. Well... Them niggas will keep songing you. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I swear I'm trying to read this shit. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out. A white man. Shit sad. House nigga tings. But it's good. Okay, I'm guessing that this message is directed towards Jay-Z. Yeah, but... That, but that, that's, this message must be, that must be what this is. That's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, right? my problem with it is, in defense the, of the, the them grammar, not getting Lil the Wayne. the problem that you have with it? Because that's the problem I'm having with it. Well, no, well, yeah, yeah, that's one of them. But, mm-hmm. no, I'm, I'm reading it, and what I get, it starts with the denying a black man what he rightfully put into game in, into this game for other re- er, reasons than your ego, whatever. Uh, last time I checked... Kendrick's a black man, right? Uh, Kendrick, in, in fact, is a black man. That so, is correct. How are we deny? Like, yeah, yeah. So if there's, like, you, you're fucking with our cause. If there's two black men, they're supposed to both get the job? Because I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, but it's just, she's like, hey, but y'all, y'all fucking over a black man to give a job to a black man. I just, I'm very I, confused. I don't and, understand. And also, yeah, and no, like, and I want to take Monty's lack of understanding and, and take it a bit, uh, take it a step further, because I also don't understand how it's like fucking over the black man when, like, this year at the Super Bowl, Usher performed. Yeah. Right? Last time I checked, he was black, and then yeah. the year before that, Rihanna performed, and last time I checked, she was black, and in the year before that, Dr. Dre performed. Yeah, and you know, and he brought a whole bunch of black people with him. He brought yeah. Dr. Dre, like Dr. Dre, Fifty Cent, Mary J. Blige, Snoop was on that stage. Yeah, at a certain point, that argument is out the window, and it's I just, think we're at that point right now. It's just, it's a weird argument to make. Like it was just, like I, I'm just, I, I like I want to know the point she's trying to make, but also it's just like you know, you do know that there's black, black other black people 
have had this job and also a black man is <clears throat> doing this job. It's or just, or are 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 us niggas from New Orleans just blacker than other niggas? Ooh, ooh, maybe that's what it is, Monty. <laughs> maybe maybe down in New Orleans we just mo blacker. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. See, that's that's what Nikki meant to see. Y'all taking the job from niggas that's mo blacker. Y'all taking it from nigga niggas. <laughs> <laughs> like like some of those some of those super niggas that Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton was trying to put in jail back in the night. <laughs> <laughs> predators. My bad. Predators. Not niggas. Super predators. That's what they said. Not niggas. Yeah. Super predators. Right. It's 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 the predator, but he's from Krypton. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> No, no, no. Biden and Hillary were just on the, you know, Atwater play, playbook, you know. Uh-huh. You can't say nigga, nigga, nigga no more. That now is. you got to come up with different words. <laughs> Predator. Man. That works. Okay, you said there was a third tweet. Yeah, right? a third tweet. Um, I'm going to just let you try this one. Go. Okay, here we go. It says, and by the way, you don't know the half of what Lil Wayne has done for me and others. Wayne had Drake and I on his tour with no paper signed. He was all, he was on all of my mixtapes with no paper sign. This man has literally changed the face of hip hop. The hair too. If you know, you know. He inspired so many to tap their faces and get locks. Inspired your faves to want to be a great MC. He never was in this for the money. It's always been for the love of music. Hashtag Gag City DC tonight. Hashtag DTLR. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, okay. I, I, I want to see all the criticism, you know, all of the thoughts yeah. that people have about Lil Wayne performing at the Super Bowl, and then I want to chime in after yeah. that. Well, I, I still got, I got, I got issues with this tweet, too. Yeah, no, let's, let's talk about it. Like, is the Super Bowl supposed to pick based on what someone has done for Nicki Minaj? Because uh, no, that's that what she's saying. The, that, that is not how the Super Bowl works. Yeah. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I got... <clears throat> ah! Ah! This, this whole thing's been driving me nuts. I've been wanting to talk to you about this for a while. I've kept my mouth shut with everybody about this, waiting to talk to you about this. Um, yeah. But we'll, we'll go I... through it. We got Birdman next. This is what Birdman okay. had to say. What did, what, did Bird, what did Baby have to yeah, say? Yeah, he, he, he had more what to did... say than put some respect on my name. But okay. here we go. There's uh we got we got three from him three tweets. First was uh, SMFH, mm-hmm. so you know, to the point. And then the second one is uh these niggas pussy Nicki Minaj. Drake, <laughs> I'll make these niggas respect us on Gladys. There you go. So <laughs> you know, put it right there. Uh. <laughs> Hating shit for real. There you go. Okay. This All Birdman. Right. Birdman speaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hating that pussy ass niggas. <laughs> yeah. Y'all finish or y'all done? Hey, man. Listen, if you ever had to worry about and wonder where that nigga is from, that nigga is very much from New Orleans, Louisiana. Yes. Yes, he oh, is. Oh, pussy ass niggas. <laughs> Oh, that's some shit right there. (laughs) Yeah. And look, listen, and I I don't think we should look past Jay-Z not liking Lil Wayne and it just being like, because at first they were saying that this decision was made by the city of New Orleans, but it was like, but Jay-Z picks who performs. Yeah. And he definitely picked Kendrick over over Lil Wayne. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he picked picked Kendrick and promo and all that shit. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and and I've seen I've seen people from Louisiana be like, oh well, maybe Kendrick could bring Lil Wayne out. I'm like, but how he gonna do that if him and Drake is you know like yeah. Kendrick and Drake is like on like this is not cool, and Lil Wayne and Drake are very cool. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fucking crazy. But yeah. but again, like I'm, I get it. But let's see, maybe my mind will change. Let's see what Hurricane Chris had to say. Oh, like listen, we gotta see what Hurricane Chris. What what do what does A Bay Bay Chris have to say about yes, this? What does Halle Berry, Halle Berry, <laughs> Hurricane Chris got to say about this? So now you niggas understand it, huh? Same <laughs> motherfucking shit that I was just saying, Fifty Cent did in Shreveport. Now it's happening in New Orleans on a bigger scale. So 
people like Master P come in on it, you know, so 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 now everybody understand. I just made this same fucking statement, but I guess, you know, because I ain't my brother, motherfuckers ain't get it. Well, I'm glad it's going down like it's going down. God told me to just sit back and motherfuckers' eyes was going to be open. It don't matter whether you small or big. It don't matter whether, whether you large. It don't matter whether you tiny. Homage is old. Respect is old. You're supposed to pay respect to the motherfuckers that laid a foundation before you. I wouldn't give a damn what your organization is. I wouldn't give a damn how much money you spent. I wouldn't give a damn what you did. When you walk into a house, you speak to everybody who live in that house and you pay respect to everybody who live in that house. I'm from the South. Now, wherever you from, you go go do what you do wherever you go do it. But when you come to the South, y'all gotta show more respect in this, bro. Mm -hmm. We got our own culture here. Niggas coming down here laughing, playing games, thinking they, they just gonna use their money and take over everything. It ain't going down like that. We going back to that old fucking law. You niggas stepping on turf, gonna, 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 gonna do what you supposed to do, or you gonna pack your shit up and get the fuck on somewhere. All the nice got shit out the window. Fuck being nice. Fuck trying to cop deuces. Take back every nice word I said to you niggas. Get your fucking mind right, or we gonna make niggas get their mind right. How about that? <laughs> All right. Listen, that, that's coming from the pride of Shreveport right there, okay? There you so. go. Hurricane Chris. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is. It, it this 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 subject has been a big one in the city, boy. I I ain't see, seen so many people. I'm gonna pull up some tweet. I'm gonna pull up some messages about this shit in a second because I I want to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. What what else we got? What, what all right, all right we got we got this? the camera on and mace. Here we go. All right, yeah, I, I haven't actually watched this. I know they said something, but I haven't actually watched it. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what they had to say. Okay. I, and listen, I love Kendrick Lamar. I love the pop up. I think. He's one of the top artists of this generation, period. Hate this election. It's in New Orleans. You don't get Little Wayne. You that's what we doing? No. Listen, no. you don't get Little Wayne in New Orleans for the hot Super Bowl. Not just Hot Boys Cash Money. All the songs Little Wayne's done, whether it's Blink 182, it's no reason. He's not bringing the hot boys. Why Little Wayne should not be performing the Super Bowl. It's one person who's stopping this. I know, you know, it's not really, it's not really a secret. Lil Wayne had a problem with somebody before who's kind of part of the organization. Jay Z. This is payback. Who's that? Who's Lil Wayne artist? Drake. Yeah, that's, not, this is this. Hating is, this, at this age is crazy. It's crazy, yeah. bro. You, bro, bro, it's ridiculous. Like Mike, Hating Mike. <laughs> and, that, and this, we got another part quick. of this too. That was part okay, one. Right. Just real, real quick, you know Cameron don't fuck with Jay Z, right? Because Jay Z back in the day stabbed his stabbed his CEO of his record. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, Lance Lance Riviera. Yeah, you know Jay, Jay Z allegedly. I, I I don't think it's alleged. I think he might have. You know, he, I think he might have copped to this, but I don't know. Jay Z allegedly stabbed Lance on Riviera. From uh, uh 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 from Cameron's record label, yeah, yeah, and and I think like Harlem niggas feel a way about Jay Z, yeah, yeah, Harlem well, niggas feel a way about Jay Z. All right, I, I, all right, all right, right we got a second orders. part too. We got a second part. Okay, this like this some hip hop shit that you probably don't know what's going on. To be totally honest with you, yeah. so we'll school you behind the scenes. Little Wayne no, not to be performing in New Orleans for the Super Bowl is egregious. And it gotta stop. I can do that. It, it gotta stop. Mike Bills will tell you what's going on later. It gotta stop, bro. It gotta stop, man. Yeah, and I'm it, doubling down on that. Switch. Hating at this age is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. I love him, Wayne. I'm it's wild, bro. Man. I work and, for and, him, Wayne. I love him. Great dude. Great yeah, dude. And, no, Great and this dude, has nothing man. towards Kendrick. Kendrick. If anybody deserved it, Kendrick deserved yeah. it. But there's some right, backstory right, shit you. going on. Yeah. While Little Wayne is not performing the Super Bowl. Mm. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. Right, I can dig it. Yeah, that's sad. That's that's so that's so sad. Yeah, that's like really sad. Like, come on, my nigga. Come on, man. Real, you you can use more words. Is that insecure, man? Like, come on. It's crazy. It's crazy. <clears throat> Me and you, May sitting here looking like budget Malcolm X, ain't saying shit. <laughs> um, no, here's look. I I just gotta this this is my issue with it. Because uh -huh. I can see the argument for both sides. I, can, I I really can. Really can. Like, it, it, yeah, it makes sense. Ain't nobody crazy for saying what they're saying. Where the crazy comes in mm -hmm. is the outrage. 
There, I don't. I push back at the outrage. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's cause for outrage. That Lil if, Wayne didn't get picked, and but if the argument I keep hearing is he's got the hits, but mainly he's from New Orleans. I don't get the outrage. I I, I could see everything else. Everything else, but I always go to the Super Bowl is not known for picking local talent. Yeah, but like if if he was a shoe in to get the job and then didn't get the job because the nigga that hires just don't fuck with him. Yeah, you know. No, I get like that. That I and get like that. that's the like argument that's, people are making is that yeah, he I'm get here the for job. the discussion because I see both sides. Yeah. 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 That's what, and that's the thing is like you know yeah. did he not like, get the job because he wasn't the best person for the job? Yeah, or when he, he said it's the... egregious, I'm like, no, you're overselling it. Mm-hmm. I don't like when shit's oversold to me. Mm-hmm. Like all these arguments are overselling. Like don't don't oversell it. Just go. Oh, I think Wayne should have got that. Now let's talk. Because mm-hmm. what's the super? The Super Bowl is not going to go. Sorry, Kendrick. Everybody's pissed. You're out. Wayne's in. That ain't gonna happen. Well, real quick, let's go. Let's go to what Wayne had to say about it. Yes, let's see what Wayne had to say. Yeah. First of all, I want to say forgive me for uh, forgive me for the delay. Um, the delay on and just the delay. I want to say uh, I had to first of all I had to get strength. I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking. Um, I must say thank you. I must say thank you to every voice, every opinion, all the care, all the love and the support out there is your your words turn into to arms and, and held me up when when I try to fall back. Um that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about, it hurt a whole lot. Um I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me. Oh, I think that was it. Oh, shit. I was about to put some. Oh, wait, wait. No, there we go. The background. No, keep it going. I felt like shit. <laughs> you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And, and <laughs> that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, they broke me. And I'm just trying to put me back together. But my God, have you all helped me? Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family, and my homies on sports television, and everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. Oh, he is really about to cry. I feel like I let right? all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me. And I'm working. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I I did, I I feel bad now. I actually do. Like I really feel bad now watching him. Cause I I hadn't watched that whole video, and I'm like seeing him get there and really be emotional. Cause Lil Wayne is a huge sports fan, right? Yeah. You know I get that, but like I said, also you know fucking Trump supporter, Green Bay Packers fan, motherfucking uh, like like Trump supporter, Green Bay Packers fan. Also said racism doesn't exist because he's got white fans. Yeah. Yeah. You know. 
Like, all those things I said about him are true, you know. And also, you know, arguably one of the greatest rappers of all time, definitely from New Orleans, Louisiana. Definitely the reason that New Orleans, Louisiana has as many platinum plaques under its belt is because of him. You know, the um, young, young Money was one of the most successful hip hop labels of all time, right? Like this man gave us like like in addition to his own career, you know, he also gave the world Nicki Minaj and Drake. Nicki Minaj is arguably the greatest female rapper of all time, right? Yeah. That like again, arguable, you know, you might have your picks. I'm I've always been a big Missy Elliott fan myself, but to to deny the things that that woman has accomplished in her career you know, it would be disrespectful, right? And yeah. Drake has had one of the single greatest, like, there was a stretch in hip-hop where nobody had a run that lasted more than five or six years. This man, Drake, is on, like, like has had, like, ten consecutive years of hits, okay? He yeah. is the LeBron James of hip-hop. Yeah. You know, like, that man has done a lot. And and to say that all of those people along with, and you had artists like Tiger, you had uh, big hits from acts like Kevin Rudolph, you know what I'm saying? That that like like Young Money, Cash Money, like Young Money did a lot of stuff, right? They put yeah. a lot of people on. They put out a lot of really good music. They were a moment in rap music, and and the effects of Young Money can be felt generations after, right? Whether it's the face tattoos or the the, the dreadlocks, motherfuckers thinking that it's cool to do skateboarding. Like this man decided to stop rapping for a while and just do uh um. Lil Wayne decided to stop rapping for a while and then start doing rock music and then start fusing hip hop and rock music together, yeah. right? Like, like he did uh, like so many things that influenced so many different people. And then when you look at his impact, Nicki's impact, like every time you see a female rapper today, right, you can see the influence of Nicki Minaj in every rapper, in every female rapper that has come out since her. Yeah. Right. And of course, you could make the argument that like her style was essentially well, her her image was copy and pasted from what Lil Kim was doing. Yes, Lil Kim created it, but Nicki Minaj popularized it. Yes. Right. And then the same thing with Drake. Like, there's a generation of artists out here that are all out that are, that are literally copy and pasting Drake's style. Right. The impact that that label had on hip hop and on music and pop culture is undeniable. Yeah. You know, but that impact doesn't mean you are supposed to perform at the Super Bowl. <laughs> there you go. Thank you for watching this clip from the Hannibal and Monty show. If you like this video, check out the video above me. It is the best video on our channel. No, no. The video above me is clearly the superior video. And this is the one you should watch. He's wrong. This one. Trust me. No. Trust no, me. No, this one. Trust Adam. Trust me. Mm. Vote. Vote with your click right now.